In the midst of the pandemic that has crippled the economy nationwide, one small town in our region continues to soar to new heights despite a recent economic hardship of their own. 13 News reporter Haley Kosick is in the studio with all the details of the new happenings. That's right, Clendenin was in a state of disrepair following the June 2016 floods. But after four years of recovery, the town is sprouting new growth recreationally. Along the Elk River, Clendenin is making a strong comeback, striving to become a mini Fayetteville. Infrastructure is returning, such as a new school, and many recreational activities are on the rise in this small community. That's attracting an even larger reach that's benefiting the local economy. Because our new grade school, our elementary school, and they're going to start, I think, uh, construction around October. And so we have to have things in place because we want people to move to the area. And so we are trying to get our town all cleaned up. The town is now selling ATV stickers, allowing residents and tourists alike to hit the roads and have a good time despite today's realities. The side side's been able to be legal in town. That's awesome. That is awesome. Too. Yeah, that is awesome. Yeah, uh, just, I mean, it's nice to ride through the ridge over there and go to Frostbite, get an ice cream or something yeah. on Saturday. It's nice. We've had a lot of a lot of uh, positive feedback. Honestly, um, people just like being able to, you know, go to the gas station or go, get, you know, go get some pizza, you know, riding their side by side and having their kids in the back. Um, for the most part, a lot of good, a lot of good. Four new kayak launch areas are in the works for fans of the water, and 43 miles of biking along the river will run through Clendenin. We're not looking in the rearview mirror. We're looking forward because that's what we want. For ATVing stickers, they are good year-round and cost $25 for in-town residents and $30 for out-of-towners. Reporting in the studio, Haley Kosick, 13 News, working for you. All right, Haley, thank you.